everyone this is tim from your six studios today in this video i'm going to show you how to connect and pair your playstation 4 controller up to your computer wirelessly and this is very easy to do now the first thing we want to do is make sure our controller is turned off and there's nothing on the light bar here so if it is just hold down this middle playstation button right here for about 10 to 15 seconds and that will manually turn it off so once we have it turned off let's go on over to my computer go on down to the windows start button right here and select it and go on over to settings then under settings, let's go to Bluetooth and devices and go on over to where it says add device. So let's go to the top Bluetooth audio device, mice, keyboard, phones, pens, controllers, etc. So let's select this. And now our computer is searching for a Bluetooth device to connect to. Let's go on over to our controller now and put it into the Bluetooth pairing mode. So hold down the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time now. And you'll notice the light on the front will begin to blink. And it should be detected by our computer now. So let's go on over. And you can see it says wireless controller input right here. Let's select it. And it's connecting. And the light should be a solid color now. It looks like it's light blue. And we're good. Now, to turn off your controller, when you're done with it on your computer, just hold down that middle button once again. After 10 to 15 seconds, that will disconnect. And it'll turn off. And then you can just press the middle button in the future and it'll connect back up to your computer automatically. But under here, we can see wireless controller is connected. And we can go to this little three dot thing and remove the device in the future if we want to connect it up to maybe our phone or something like that. So you always have that option in here. So if it's being stubborn, if it's trying to connect back up to your PlayStation or your phone or something like that, just remove it from your PC and you should be good to go. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.